Hello everybody. In today's presentation, in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to give specific format to a presentation we might already have. In this case, we're going to use a presentation we already used in our previous video and on our previous exercise. Now, the only thing that we're going to do today is we're going to make this specific presentation a little bit more uh, we're going to give it a little bit of more of a specific look. Okay, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you how to do this. We already have this presentation so we can work on the same one. The objective is to learn how to change all of this. So one of the things that we can do is that we can take the text directly, like in this case in the, uh, in the title, and we can change the font, going directly and changing the font just like we would on, uh, on, on Word or on Excel, which we already talked about previously. So for example, let's say that I want this, uh, this beautiful text right here, and it looks, it looks like this topic of interest, and we can also change this one, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it into something else. I recommend not using too many different types of, of, uh, of fonts. I recommend just using a few, and just a few sizes as well. So as you can see, this is 60. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it all the way to 72. Uh, and this one, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to make it, uh, let's leave it at 32 as well. So it looks, it looks classy. I like it. And I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, for now. Now, the other thing that I want to show you in this particular one is that we can change the background as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the background color by right-clicking. We right-click on it. And right here where it says Format Background, we click on that. And it's going to open this window, and it's going to tell us, if we want to change it, we could do solid fill, uh, gradient, a picture, or a pattern. In my case, I don't like to put too much on the back, just a few things. So I'm going to do it solid, and I'm going to create a softer intermediate color. Okay, something uh, maybe like this, or, or rather a light blue. I like the light blue. Okay. So uh, another thing is that uh, if you use a dark color, if you decide to use a dark color, let's say they use a more intense color like a, like a very dark blue, something like this, I recommend y changing the color of the letters into something lighter. I would use, in this case, a white color, and it looks, in, to my, in my taste, in my, in my idea, it looks, it looks quite interesting. So uh, let's, let's see how it looks. If it looks good on, on like this on, on the screen, I would leave it like that. So let's, uh, let's keep it up like this, okay? Right, now, um, if this is the way that we want to do it, and we want to do this for the rest of the, of the slides, instead of doing it one by one and then changing it again, instead of doing that, we could just go to this one. This one already has this, and we could say apply to all. Okay, we, we apply to all, and it changes all of the slides automatically. Now, let's say that um, we, we change it like that, and it looks, it looks great, or maybe not. Who knows? But for the sake of the exercise, we're going to leave it like this. And we can do that for the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the text, the rest of the images. We change it into a, a different kind of look. We can, instead, of, instead of selecting these, we can just uh, do the, doing this. We could just select, select the, uh, the text box and click on the outside. Okay, we click on this, and it changes the whole thing. Now, another thing that we can also do is that if we change the, uh, we select, we can select two of them, by the way. We can select them like this. Wait a minute, we have to select the whole thing, sorry. So we select the whole thing like this, and we can just click on this, and it changes it automatically. And we could also go here and change it directly, and it changes the whole thing like this. Looks quite interesting, in my opinion. Okay, now uh, let's do this for the rest of it. Okay, let's do this uh, for the rest of it. We're going to change it into EDS or, or whatever it is, and, and you choose whatever you want to do with it. Okay, change it to white like this. Okay, let's continue with this. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that this is the best look for the presentation. It's not. But, you know, uh, for the objective of, of what we're doing, I think it, it covers the purpose. Okay, now, I don't like where these are. I don't like where that these uh, two texts are too close to the picture, so I select the two of them. We hold the Shift key, and we can select both of them. Okay, by holding the Shift key, I click on both of them, and they're both selected. And I'm going to push them up a little bit with the arrow keys on my keyboard, and it looks a little bit better. Not, not too together. Okay, so let's uh, 
select this thing again. Okay, change it to white, change it to uh, EDS market. In my case, I just have two of them to go. Okay, we'll change it like this. This one again, so this one's a lot bigger, and we change it into EDS market. And finally, the thank you or the thanks at the end. Okay, change it to white and change it to EDS market. And that's the basic way in which you can change the format of the text of any presentation. Okay, and it, it ends up looking something like this. Okay, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.